About died like three times. Yeah. Well, folks, how's it going? Welcome back to episode of Fishing Village. Today we are at the farm and not fishing. Big surprise. But gotta check on these bees. Went to Africa. I'm hoping we got a honey. This is the first time you brought the bro pet to your property. Oh, true. But here are the bees that have not been checked on in about two weeks. I don't really know what to think about it. I don't know if they're doing well or, or not. I guess we'll check. This is the one that's not doing that great. This one's doing good. This is a honey super. So if this thing's full of honey, we gonna make a honey harvesting video today. If it's not, then we not. Shoo! Me. Uh, no. So we put one slide in here. We put this one? Yeah. Okay. Are they on this one at all? No. Not at all. No. Not at all. No. They hadn't moved at all. That's bad. <clears throat> all right, this is the moment of truth. This is the one that could potentially have enough honey to harvest. Well, I mean, oh. Well, I feel like that's more than, because we didn't put any up here, right? No, they ain't doing nothing though. Oh God, chill, 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 chill. They're not, they haven't made any brew, or they haven't made any honey or capped anything off or anything. They just did this. They just did the seal. Maybe that's actually, the that first. Was from the, that was, no, 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 it's from the other one. From the oh, because yeah. that's from that. No, dude, these guys are worthless. They're not doing nothing for me. <laughs> Flare honey coming in 2024, boys. After I buy it from the grocery store and then repackage it. I'm not a bee expert. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. What are we doing wrong? We let the two brew boxes get full. I know it's the first year though. A lot of people say the first year you don't get to harvest honey because it takes a full year for them to fill up the two bottom brew boxes. But let me know what you guys' thoughts are for your beekeepers down below. <laughs> Well, boys, welcome to the Flare B&B. 2.0. Where are the lights at? Boom. Nice. Who left the meat out? Uh, that was John. He was supposed to put it away. That was a nice piece of meat. What the hell, man? We could... Here's an idea. We could throw that in a minnow trap and try to catch crawfish. Keep stocking the root baker. Yeah. You guys have been commenting that you've been loving the stocking video, so we could do that. I feel like we gotta we gotta make use of it. I said we take this succulent piece of meat and I guess we special stick it in the minnow trap and see if we catch minnows or crawfish, maybe snakes, maybe we do a snake catcher cook. You guys stay tuned. Sushi. Remember that sushi challenge we were talking about? Look at that. What do you think? Do not. Get out of here, that that's gross. Oh do you guys not smell that? No, you're downwind, Junior. Yay. Well, there's carp here, I guess. See any crawfish? Remember that day we came here and just murked the crawfish? All right, get your nice expired piece of meat that John left out. Shout out to John. Oh God, this is this is nasty, dude. Bro, that's like good filet. <laughs> All right, she's yeeted. In the basket you go. That's two. Oh yeah. These guys are these guys are dunsky. This is the actual crawfish one, so I'm gonna put this one kind of shallow, like. That maybe. Oh, there you go. What? <laughs> Rick, the hell was that, man? This is supposed to be PG. Put together the old deer feeder here. See that thing? Yeah, I just bought that, and uh, I didn't buy all the right parts. So now I'm putting it together today. Today is the day. We're checking the trail cameras. We set some trail camera out at one of the deer properties that we have around here. We're gonna go check it, and then we're also gonna put this guy up somewhere, and. Uh, Start prepping for deer see. If you guys are big deer hunters, you guys let me know. If you guys have any tips for deer hunting, scouting, preparing, where to put stuff, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm gonna try to get this thing together and then uh, go uh, see if we can get this thing to work. Go set it out in the field somewhere. Figured out yet, Junior? She keeps saying off. Uh oh, it's counting down. This is the moment of truth. What are the odds? It's gonna blow up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's supernatural. The deer will be like, hell yeah, like, there's just corn. Like chop up your corn for you? No. Like a blade. I, it just yeets it, you know? Check that camera right there. 134 videos. Oh my goodness. So there was definitely deer something. or something. Something. Holy crap, dude. All right. Dude, 134 vids. What are, we, what are our guesses? Buck? Or, okay, deer or no deer? Do you think it, do you think it was like this leaf moving? So I didn't think about that. This branch could have just been yeah. waving. Oh, oh my, my god. god! That's a buck. Oh, chief, nice. Wait, you're kidding, dude. That's a big. Dude, that's a that's a total. That's a shooter, dude. Looks like a six to eight point. What the hell is going? 
That's another little buck. You see a little buck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. You're kidding me. Oh, oh you're my kidding goodness. Me, bro. You're kidding me. Three In bucks. two days, dude, there's three. That's a tank, dude. Dude. Was that that, that afternoon? So this was. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that thing, bro. So they still have their velvet on. That's yeah. what that's called, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's velvet. So we just got back to the war high. We're continually to. We're going to continue to watch all this. But there's 134 clips. So we're going to sit here and kind of go through them. I can't believe this, dude. Those are tanks. Like, That's they're not like the biggest deer in the world. But like the fact that we us. threw corn on the ground and we came back two days later and there's three bucks in the first clip that we click on is absolutely insane. Oh, my goodness. Dude. There's two big bucks right there. Just oh chilling. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's a nice one. The one that's right there is a yeah. nice one. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Look at that. That's so nice. That's a that's an eight pointer, ain't it? Pretty, it's pretty wide. That's right. a, that, it looks good. The other one's bigger. The other one was a ten, yeah, ten or eleven pointer. And then there's a that's little. A that's, a, that's, that's a different, a different one. one. That's a different one in the back. So at least three bucks. This is insane. We haven't dude. seen any does. That's funny. I'm. So, but how heck? how do you do that in two days, dude? We know nothing about. Deer we know hunting. nothing about deer hunting. Like, there's a doe. Okay, there's a doe. That's the next day. Mama. That's at five a.m. 5 a.m. the next day, there's a doe. Okay, here's later, here's like 20 minutes later. Oh, the bucks oh, are wow. back. Yep. Look at that buck. Dude, look at that buck, bro. Oh my <gasps> goodness. Dude, I'm so excited. So this is at five, almost 6 a.m. the next day. So they were there five hours after we left, and then the next day they came right back. I say we put the deer feeder here. I, I oh, don't yeah. see why not, yeah, honestly. Exactly. I mean, we're gonna have so many deer just chilling. Oh, and then the doe's back at night. That was last night. Holy freaking smokes. I did not expect that. So at least seven, right? At least seven different deer, maybe eight. I'm, I wasn't really playing, paying that close of attention. We didn't even click on every single clip either. We clicked on, we clicked on probably like a fourth. I mean, there's 134. You probably clicked on like 20 of them. Uh, but that is crazy. Literally within five hours of us leaving, there was three or four bucks. And then we saw some does, and then we saw some tank bucks the next day and the next morning. That was our first try. Our first try trying to look for deer. Picked a random spot next to some forest, next to some beans, and threw some corn on the ground with one trail camera and saw over half a dozen freaking decent deer. That is crazy. So should we just throw the feeder out here then? I don't know. Or what, do you have a better spot? Or since we know this spot's absolutely juice, should we go to a different spot today? Like, put the SD card back in that camera just to keep an eye on these, right? Mm -hmm. I think we should go to a different spot. I mean, obviously this spot is absolute yeah. fire. Like, I, well, that's confirmed. I mean, it's fire. Yeah. So, we could just dump a little bit. Eh, there's plenty of corn on the ground. We'll just leave the corn, leave the trail camera. I say let's take the feeder somewhere else. Yeah. What if we went to the survival spot? Yeah, honestly, we've seen so We've many seen so deer. many deer there. There's a, the place we filmed some, some survival videos this winter. We saw a ton of deer. So, actually, let's do that. Dude, that makes me feel so good, though. Not, like... I don't know. I'm not a deer hunter, so this is like super exciting for me. I don't know if it's a big deal or not to you guys, but that was insane. Literally, the first camera set up, all those giant bucks. And again, they may not be the biggest bucks you guys have ever seen, but to me, they're they're big. Sheesh, boys. This is deer country out here. Oh, you got a slamming? You're, you're doing big things here. Beefcake. Good job, beefcake. Thank you. Well, we got trees over here. We have got beans over there. We got corn over here. We've got CRP over here. And then there's water over there. I feel like there's nothing else that deer would ever need. That's everything you would need to just thrive in life. So I think what we're going to do is we're, we're going to set this little feeder. We've actually never set any cameras up on this side of really anything. We've literally never even really been over here. We're going to try to put some cameras right here facing this and kind of make this the little pasture area. I think this is pretty good because, again, there's a fence line, which a lot of deer like to kind of travel along fence lines. Isn't that what this is already? Kind of, kind of looks like maybe a little animal path. I don't know. We're gonna try it. Um, set up a trail camera to take some photos and stuff, and see what we can find. Maybe this isn't good. Maybe the first spot we found was the best spot on the property, but we gotta kind of keep keep moving, keep trying new spots because you never know where the giant buck's gonna be. But this thing, this should be interesting. To see if this actually works. Can you test the corn to make sure it's good? Yeah. No way, let me just eat a piece of corn. Why'd you eat that? You told me to see if it was good. Seven p.m. and six a.m. Can you do a test? Yes. Okay, done. Oh God, boys, better back up. 
You got like five seconds. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ow! 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 <laughs> Bro, what the hell is that? <laughs> that is. Oh god! That was like an airsoft gun, bro! How are the deer supposed to find that? But how are the deer supposed to find it? What do you mean, how are they supposed to find it? How he just yeeted it to Narnia, bro! How are you supposed to find it when you just throw it out randomly? But what happens if the deer are here and that goes off? They're gonna die! But why did it go so far? I feel like you want it con- like, how am I supposed to get it on trail camera if it freaking yeets it 50 yards? That was dangerous. Yeah, I've never seen a deer feeder like that before, but. Well, we got her set up. We got her all situated. I don't know if she's gonna work or not. We're done with the whole deer shenanigans. While we're out and about running around, we gotta go see Betsy. Oh, golly. There's cows right there. Oh, hello. Oh, shoot. What's up, Junior? Betsy. Oh, that's Sally. What's up, cows? Hey, no, chill. You're fine. Listen, listen. Listen, you're fine. God, those are some cute little guys. Look at them. Look at these guys. They're so cute. Oh, chill, chill. All right, where's Betsy at? Oh, dude, you're about to get ran over. Look at them udders, bro. Dude, we haven't seen Betsy so long. What if she disowned us, man? It's not cool. Betsy. Betsy. You see Betsy? I don't know, is it? There's a little cat there, man. Really? The Cundy. 102, is that her? Yes. Yeah. Betsy, what are you Yo, doing? What's up? Come on, Betsy, what are you doing hiding in the crundy like this? Get out of here. What's up, Bets? Betsy, you forgot who we were. Betsy, Betsy. Be Le no, don't do this to me. Maybe she's just trying to get out of here. Okay, here, let's help her out of the crundy. Come on, come on, Bets. Betsy, no, Betsy, bro, Betsy disowned us. Lost the most precious thing in my life. My pet cow, Betsy. I go to Africa, I come back, she acts like she doesn't even know me. After all we've been through. Quit sending nudes and look at what, look what, look what's business. to your, look, oh yeah, business. business. Look, look to your right. That's some corn, if I've ever seen some. Sweet corn. It's ready. Is it? Kai Dog just texted me. Oh. He said, go pick yourself some sweet corn. I'm a little hungry. K-E-R-N. Kern. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Betsy disowned us. Yep, rip. But Kai Dog, as we were driving, Kai Dog's like, "Yo, if you're up, you're down at the farm, go pick some sweet corn." So, Bonzo just picked some sweet corn. How do you know if sweet corn's ready? You, you, you look. You, you make sure it's like fully out. You I know? feel like a big, like a big cob is right after, right? Everybody. <laughs> is this a big cob? Everybody likes a big cob. You know what I mean? Those are big old kernels. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I planted this sweet corn. Well, yeah, no, I planted. Well. No, I planted, yeah, I planted some of the sweet corn, not all of it. Me and Kai Dog tag team the whole operation. But the sweet corn is ready to be picked. That's tall stuff back there. That is field corn. This is sweet corn. Field corn, sweet corn. Oh, God. Hey! Bonzo! That's the first athletic thing he's done in nine years. So we're going to go ahead and just start picking some of the sweet corn. Boys, I say we have a corn cook-off. Co corn catch and cook. You ever cook corn slamming? Uh, no, sir. But You've never cooked corn in your life? Dude, you cooked corn for like the first time like last week. True. All right, so I say we kind of start taking a gander. Do you, like, I don't, I feel like there's got to be a strat to this, but I don't know what the strat is. The thickest one? The thickest, meatiest, beefiest, juiciest one. That's what I'm going for. Three cobs, two sweet corn, and one field corn. Can you eat field corn? Yeah. No, you can't. It's just not like, it won't taste great, but you can eat it. Maybe someone can cook it good. It's not gonna kill you. There's Bro, no you ever you ever eat, seen somebody eat field corn? Eat that's what we just that's what we just tried to give our freaking deer was field corn. Yeah, but it's, that's all dried up. That's from like last year. Put that in my mouth. No, it's not good. Yeah, you ate some. How we're how good was that? This. That's not, not cooked. Good. We're we're not just gonna uh, we're gonna cook these. What was that? <laughs> oh, oh okay. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That thing saws the leaves on. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. All right, so two sweet corn, one field corn according to Bonzo. I guess we're cooking field corn. Didn't know you could do that. So should we just go out there and look for field corn then? Yeah. Okay. Children of the Kern. All right, so here's field corn. This is like, this is what's made for like grains and stuff. Like, like not human consumption, right? This is a juicy one here. Okay. You know how you tell if it's field corn or not? Darker. 
hair. Oh, really? Got Did it. you just discover that? What's yeah, the difference? It's the dark, dark hair. Uh, dark hair is field corn. Got my corn. You're up first. I'm up first. All right. I'm going to do... So you have one field yep. and two, so field. two sweet. Yep. So just do one of each. Okay. So here's your options. I guess your options could be... I'm trying to think. Out. Okay, people probably boil. grill it. Bo boil it, grill it, microwave it. Do people fry it though? So what are you what are you feeling? Microwave. My, uh, I figured. Cause you've never cooked corn. I feel like no. that's probably the safest bet. Yeah. <laughs> like you probably can't mess it up. You no. just throw it in there. So you, you want a microwave? What do you want to do? I'll grill. I've grilled corn before. Okay. I, that's the only thing I've done. I've yeah. never done it. I've boiled corn one time and okay. grilled corn one time. I think since kind of frying is kind of my thing, kind of do it all the time. I'm gonna try to fry some corn. I also think that I could make the field corn taste the best by frying it, cause I feel like I could like take away the flavor. Yeah, like make put breading on it or something like actually make it taste good because i feel like these boys are going to struggle to make field corn taste good no i feel like i'm going to win if i fry it yeah i think you could win the field corn so we got to have like two competitions sweet corn versus and then the field corn okay it... yeah no that's fine yeah. so we'll do who can cook the best sweet corn and who can cook the best field corn and you're cooking on the 94 dollar grill yep. from walmart so yep. with that being said bonzo's going to chef it up here he's going to start grilling and then slamming he's going to microwave and i'm going to fry you guys stay tuned I'm gonna leave it in the husk, okay. but I'm gonna put the husk down and I'm gonna season it first. Ooh. And I got some butter too. Yeah, blue bonnet. Okay, we got blue bonnet. And we've got some Mountain Dew. What else do you have for seasoning? Uh, I got some SPG. Oh, it's some my SPG. Favorite. It's okay. my favorite. Salt, pepper, garlic, butter, grill, kern. All right, tell me what you're right. about to do to your cob. Good coating. I don't know if that's gonna work. No, I, I think you probably put butter first. Butter first and yeah. it makes it stick. Yeah, put a lube on it and then it'll stick better. Oh yeah, that's nice. And Good God, guy! What are we getting a heart? We have a heart attack with a side of corn. What is that? <laughs> I didn't say I'm making the healthiest corn. Oh my! I will spread it out. That's for the whole thing. Bro, that ain't even gonna taste like kern. Oh, I'm just covering just, it up with freaking chill. Cause oh. it's it's gonna melt off. It's just giving it flavoring. <laughs> oh my God, dude, that is literally a heart attack. Like literally. <laughs> dude, you're frying yours. True. Now that you've got butter with a side of corn, throw your seasoning on it. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna put this back. Ooh, put the husk back. Yeah, on cook there. it in the husk. All right, we're gonna put the field corn on the left. Yo, I'm sure you'll be able to tell the difference. Well, I mean. You don't think so? Once you eat it. Okay, so what would you say is on the left? So this is field corn. You sure? Yes. Double check. How do, you, how do I double check? I'm just messing with you, you're good. And then that's the sweet corn. Okay. So. The top shelf won't make it like burn as much, but it will take Should a Should we crank longer. it up a little bit? Yeah, it's good. I feel like it's pretty low right now. I'm up, boys. Here we go. Fry time. Well, folks, getting the goods here. Flour, some franks, some kern. We're good to go. This is my kern. I'm actually going to take it all the way off. Peel this all the way down. Get it all the way off. Boom. This actually smells pretty good. There we go. We're going to fry these guys up. Throw a little bit of this in the bag. Step number one. So, step number one, throw the corn in the bag. Give it a nice jiggle. All nice and covered in the hot sauce. I don't think anyone's ever done this I was going to say, I can that. guarantee you no one's ever done this before. I don't think anyone's ever done this. Hot sauced corn. Could be, what if it's a game changer, dude? What if, what if this is flare style, you know? Yeah. Hey, how you cooking your corn? You boiling it, you grilling it, flare style. What we should I... just open a restaurant at this point. We should open a restaurant. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Dude, I bet it's gonna no be good. No way. It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be good though. So what about this? Just throw butter on it? Yeah. So take some bonzo butter. Wow. You, I, you said put some butter on it. I thought you're doing bonzo style. <laughs> Isn't this bonzo style? Yeah, I guess. I think that's the strat. No. Uh, can you fry in this butter? I don't I feel like it's just gonna melt. Why I'm wouldn't just... it just melt? Well it will, but I mean it still gives you the flavor of butter. Why wouldn't it just it, fall off? Yeah, it just it fall will. off right away. Instantly. Wait, what? Why did I do this then? I feel like this isn't gonna do anything. It's not. I mean, just put that whole thing in there. I think this is this is a waste. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like this is not. You dip it in flour now. I could dip it in flour, but that wouldn't. I feel like I, I feel like I'm getting out of hand here, boys. No more flour. All right, we're just. I guess we're going with that. I don't know what that does, but we're doing it. Why didn't I listen to Bonzo when he told me to put it fried in butter? <laughs> Watch, that one's gonna taste great, and you're like, wow, you're smart. Oh, perfect. Oh. This is gonna be weird, dude. All right, so as my sweet corn's cooking, we're getting the old field corn ready. Out and ready to rock and roll here. So a reminder, this is not the corn that you eat when you go to the store. This is corn that's made for other things. Snap and a half. Ah! 
That's not very good. Golden Tell me that don't look like a freaking egg roll. Dude, it's a corn egg roll. It don't look too it doesn't look that burnt. It should be alright. Dude, that does that not look fire? Tell me that doesn't look fire. That looks fire, Andrew Flair. Thanks. Alright boy, what's the strap here? Micro Make your corn? <laughs> no way! Wave. Wait, can you actually bit. Okay. Oh, four, four minutes? Four minutes. That's no, it. I love four how minutes. he like live like left the leaves on and everything. Like, it, he is it gonna catch wonder. fire? Well, hopefully. Okay. I'm, I, they're green. They're hydrated. Boom. Shoo. Oh, that looks perfect. Slam is done, baby. The old field corn still getting after it here. It's probably about done. We got a corn feast over here, boys. Okay, what are you what are you doing? Are you gonna do any seasonings? Uh, seasoned salt. That's it. Ooh. And butter. And butter. Seasoned butter. salt and butter. Little butter. Just stick it in my mouth. Just stick it in your mouth. This is this is the sweet corn. Yes, this is my sweet corn. Pretty cooked. Pretty well cooked. Can you taste the SPG on it? Mm-hmm. Dude, that's fire. Really? Yeah. Go try it. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's like gummy. But it's good. It is gummy. That's good. I wonder why it's gummy. I think it's overcooked? Undercooked? This is the part I'm nervous about. Yeah. Get it? I don't, I don't know about, like, is that just the good stuff or? Okay, you're just going in. Oh, God. <laughs> I might just lose this one. <laughs> Dude, no way you can eat that. <laughs> There's no way you can eat that. I'm laughing so hard. Dude, he's eating it. <laughs> it tastes like. That's oh god, oh god. Yep, there it goes. What are you thinking on this one? I don't know. They don't I look don't, that great. This one, no, that, that one, one got over, overdone. That one's definitely overcooked. It'll, I get it'll be. I bet it'll be really chewy. If it's super, super chewy, then that means that. We overcooked our current. Oh, We're gonna wow. go with this one. You're going after fry. Is it super chewy? It's kind of good. Really? All right. It's chewy, but it's good. Really? All right, I'm going in. Really salty, but. Uh oh. I'm. Am I, did I change the game, or did I not change the game? Come on. That's what I'm saying. Mind blown. Bro, you gotta try Dude, that. That is so good. No way. No way. Tell me that's not the strap for corn now. No! Don't! No, you're kidding! Dude! You, you have to be kidding. No. No way. No you gotta way! Try, you gotta try no it. way! <laughs> See? <laughs> it's fire. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. It's like spicy corn. Flyer style. I'm trademarking it. This is the Frank's floured deep fried field corn. Oh, you gave me like a chewy taste. Oh god. Ugh. I can't even eat it. <laughs> no. I can't. I can't even eat it. This is microwave. Microwave. Oh, With god. some seasoned salt? Yep. Mmm. Oh god. Is that good? Uh-oh. 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 Bonzo, we might be in trouble here. Mmm. Wow. That's good. That's really good sweet corn. That was pretty dang. That's really good. Oh, man. Wow. I really like that. If I was to do it again, knowing me being lazy, I would do it Slayman's way. Yeah. Microwave with some seasoning. Grill. On a better grill that might be like wood flavored mm -hmm. could be a game changer. So we might need to get a better grill. Mine was like kind of out there, but super good, surprisingly good. Yeah. But it was a little bit unrealistic for like all the time. You know, I feel like that's like not a common thing to do. We've we ruled out field corn. I don't think anybody wins the no, field corn. No, no. that was just a botch. Good. Yours was good. Mine was surprisingly good, and Bonzo's was pretty good. Cause I like the SPG on it. How can you how can you say who's a winner? Why why do they win? I guess that's my I question. I would say I would say Slayman. I'd give him the win on this one just because it's like the corn like it was the easiest to eat. It wasn't yeah. chewy or anything. It had just a little flavor. I liked your flavor a lot. Yeah. But it was like I don't know corn. It just wasn't as the corn wasn't cooked yeah, as well. His was like very. I think mine was too yeah. overcooked. Yours was not I overcooked. Think mine might have been overcooked yeah. too. I mean, all three were really good. Yeah. But I think I would give it to him. I think you cooked it the best. I think we I think you and I overcooked yeah. it a little bit. Flavors were still good. Yeah. Flavors were still good. Flavor was good and cooked it properly. All you had to do is use a microwave. Took yep. the dub, baby.
first November I, boys. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the flour. It's better than you thought, though. Yeah. I, everybody was doubting me. Everyone was like, dude, why would you fry it with flour? No with hate ranks? in comments. But yep. Yeah, no you can't hate until you try it, okay? Try it. I'm telling you. Do exactly what I did. Franks, flour, franks, flour, fry. Boom. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.